Paul the Pounder here, folks, uh, whose stamina will go down in the annals of history. No, it's a psychotic comedian uh, for show number 122. I come in and do uh, kind of sporadic when I can think of the bits. Jason's nice enough to let me do it. Um, see, the first bit, um, you see this spot here on my jeans, uh, UPTV? That's the Pounder's last coming. All right. Well, UPTV, I want to make an independent uh, movie called uh, uh, Paul Pounder, Mel Renegade. How about that? My opening scene is uh, I steal a caddy, a Cadillac, a pink Cadillac, and I go to cash loans and pawn it for money to finance my movie. How about that? My second scene, I set my apartment on fire to collect the insurance money to get a getaway car. Every renegade needs a uh, getaway car, don't they, Jason? All right. Back in high school, this is serious. Back in high school, um, one day in, uh, I was 15 or 16, a freshman, sophomore, whatever, and the coach says, well, the girls, which I believe the girls talk nastier in their locker room than the guys do in their locker room. Then I thought to myself, how does, uh, how does the coach know this? And uh, so well, anyway, this was purely coincidental. I wasn't uh, trying to find out how he knew it, but I walked past the women's locker room and I heard something like, mm, yeah, nasty girls, you talk that nasty talk. Mm, solid. And, you know, I went, I just listened and I opened up the door to the outside and it was a coach with his pants down around his ankles and he had a glass to the outside of the the locker listening in and so you know I guess he did know what he was uh, talking about didn't he all oh, right the other day I was on the on the bus going through campus town and uh, I keep to my sometimes I make small talk or whatever uh, if I'm not busy thinking of something or reading. But anyway, I looked to the left of me, and this girl was uh, smiling at me. And she said, she says, sir, you look like a rock star. I, well, first of all, when she was smiling, I just thought she had a nervous condition, UPTV. <laughs> but she said, sir, you look like a rock star. I go, well, can I blow on your pussy hole and play you like a skin flute? She says, yeah, sure. Then she started taking off her clothes and stuff. I said, well, we're not here. We'll probably get arrested. Well, as you guessed at UPTV, yeah, Jason's starting to shut the door. <laughs> as, you, as you guessed at UPTV, she was blonde. All right. Here's some more pickup lines by me, uh, the Paul the Peter Pusher. Hey, uh, hey how you doing, miss? Um... The only reason I'm coming over and talking over here is I got a court order. I have to get out of my house and talk to a person. So I've, I've said hi to you. Now I can go finish my drink and go back home. Um, hey, mess, I uh, love your gorgeous hair. Is pink your original hair color? Hey, mess, I see you're there sitting, sitting there nude, sucking on a lollipop which is in your coffee, I guess I know what we all in here know why you're here for, huh? All right. Miss, it's you again, huh? All right. Well, UPTV, I was feeling uh, a little down, a little depressed uh, last Friday night. So as you guessed, I went to my old stopping grounds. That's right, the Blue Note Pharmacy and Tavern. I went in there and I... Saw a girl sitting. She's cute. Uh, not the reason I went to talk with her. I just go socialize with people. I go up to her and say, well, what's your story, miss? She says, like, Paul, I really got, for, I said, I'm Paul. Hey, Paul, I get really got an issue with days. One just keeps coming after another. I go, oh, okay. And the guy sitting next to her had a T-shirt that says, on the front of it says, life is hell. And on the back it says, and the hours are a bitch. So are you guys t uh, together? She goes, Jeff, are we? She said, and Jeff goes, I wish I was dead. 
That means, yes, I guess we all we are together. The evening ended with someone throwing an antidepressant bottle and knocking someone out. Oh, right. I went up to this one girl I was attracted to, and I go, Jennifer, when I look at you, I think of all the great reasons. I, well, Jennifer, when I look at you, I think of all the great things that happens to a man in love. What do you, th what do you think of when you look at me, Jennifer? Well, Paul, when I look at you, <coughs> I think of all the reasons for the advent of restraining orders that started in the early 80s up to the present time. And... I really, UPTV, think this chick was into the law. Wait until she sees me in my legal briefs. All right. I hope I get at least one good bit today, folks. Oh, well. Well, UPTV, I went up to this woman and I go, uh, What's your name, Heather? Hey, Heather, I'd like to, like to sit on your face and wiggle. Then you can shave off my pubes and put them on your upper lip and look like you have a bristly mustache. Woo, Paul, you're a romantic temper, aren't you? She says, I bet you say that to all the girls. But anyway, she, uh, she goes, you know, with offers like that, Paul, circulating around town, how can a girl refuse? Whoa. Balance problems. Apologize again for that. I think that's the end of the show. The last one was really long and drawn out. This was a little bit shorter. Um, anyway, as always, I didn't thank the guys last week, and uh, I regretted it. I forgot. I'd like to thank Jason Leggett so much today for filming me, um, and uh, Jake Shoemaker station manager and uh, Dan so much Pano I think his last name Dan so much for the the, the editing work on the films the switching the frames this is a guy I haven't mentioned in quite a while Caleb how you doing buddy I don't know if you're watching my shows anymore but uh, how what I, I hope being a dad is going okay for you it's been a few months and uh, I miss you I do miss you. Um, starting out, we had a lot of fun. And uh, with that said, this is the uh, psychotic comedian bidding you adieu. I think it had its merits, but who knows.